Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to the MLS Adventure. I'm going to call it the Journeyman like 10 times, so it's the MLS Adventure. Maybe I should say, hey, y'all, welcome to um, Soccer Manager. I, and that's the f first and only time I'm going to try an American accent. I just can't seem to nail it. I was YouTubing Atlanta accents. I, I, all I've got is, hey, y'all. That's that's pretty much it. Right, so before we get started, I wanted to give you a quick little info dump, a background on what's going on. So I know very little about the MLS, and I purposely didn't sort of Google up on the registration rules and the salary caps and everything like that, because I wanted to go in blind. I've had lots of really good offers of help and people willing to explain stuff to me, but I thought it would be a lot more interesting and fun just to muddle through ourselves, probably make a million mistakes... And just sort of see if we can learn how the MLS... Like, all I know, I'll give you the entirety of my information. It's got uh, um, two divisions and there's no relegations. And they play everybody, like, you know, football matches. And they have um, salary caps and they have um, designated players, which I think you're allowed to break the salary cap for like you know the David Beckhams of this world and stuff like that but you're only allowed a few in each team and there's a draft I don't know how that works I've never seen it and that's kind of that's the entirety of my MLS knowledge so because I know we've got a bunch of new subscribers for from the trailer obviously lots of MLS fans so welcome hello my American friends um I'm sorry if I screw up your league or take the piss out of it a little bit but it'll be fine right we'll have lots of fun so um i haven't touched any screens i haven't even looked at the squad um we're, we're gonna go through together if you want um this episode is just going to be looking at the team and trying to understand a few of the basic rules if you want to just skip to the first game of the season see my transfers or trades or draft or whatever it is then next episode will be that thing but i'm gonna i'm gonna look at this right so in a move being dubbed as a massive surprise by many the atlanta united board have named virtually unknown english manager with no prior experience as their new boss oh that's me um welcome to atlanta okay wage 12 grand a week i do it on um per week because that's just what i'm used to as a european i know i think in america it's kind of yearly wages isn't it but you just have to work it out yourself um Okay, we'll do the meeting and stuff afterwards because that's always boring as shit. Okay, so I've compiled a brief report on the club's current obligations in the transfer margin. M margin? Market? Oh, a bit of Braddy Guzan. Bloody marvellous, that. I Actually, I recognise a player. Any player that I recognise is going to be a massive bonus. Um, so he's coming in um, the 7th, uh, the 3rd of the 7th. It's back to front for you Americans. It's the 3rd of July. Um, okay. Um, and we'll look at the others later. Okay, here we go. I've taken the time to explain some of the MLS contract rules to you to ease your introduction. They know me well, obviously. Um, Atlanta and I may sign a maximum of three designated players. These players are typically of higher stature and greater quality than the rest of the squad. And as such, the contribution towards the salary cap will be equal to the maximum. <laughs> I'm already confused. Maximum senior salary of seven grand per week. Oh, what do I do with all that money? Um, regardless of his total wage. See, I'm already confused by that. If the player is signed during the summer transfer window, clubs get a 50% discount on their salary cap because that's halfway through the season. However, a designated player 20 years or younger, referred to as a young designated player, only counts as 2,200 per week against the club's salary budget, whereas a young designated player, 21, 23, 3,000. The budget change in the uh, charge in the mid-season... No, no, it's too no. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's because. Uh, um, however, it can be lowered using targeted allocation. Oh my! God, I'm already confused. Clubs will not have to buy their third designated player roster slot to accommodate a young designated player. There are two main types of squad registration slots in the MLS: senior and off-budget. Player <laughs> player registration on a senior slot will always count towards their salary cap, while off-budget players are given an exemption. Players on designated and senior contracts may only give may only be registered by using a senior slot. The players earning the league minimum salary, 925 quid a week, are on a senior medium salary contract and may be registered with off budget. Okay, players signed from the MLS Club Academy are categorised as homegrown. They retain their status until they permanently move to a non-MLS club. Again, these players may be registered using either a senior or off budget slot. For senior homegrown <laughs> players registered as an off budget, their combined wage are exempt from the salary cap up to a maximum of 3,700. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Generation Adidas contracts. What the fuck is that? Pay above the senior minimum salary. 
value and are given to the highest rated prospects coming through the draft system. They are always exempt from the salary cap and can only be registered using an off-budget slot. Reserve contract players are always exempt from the salary cap and occupy an off-budget slot. Reserve contracts can only be given to players under the age of 25 and come with a maximum length of two years. Simple! Oh my god! Right, okay. Responsibilities. Okay, we'll we'll work. With, we'll we'll do all that later. Let's. I want to have a look at the squad and finances and stuff. Let's go finances. So we've got thirty million quid in the bank. Nice. We've got a transfer budget of one million. Um, a total wage budget of one point two. Um, and we're currently spending. We've got a trans a wage budget of one point two million pounds a week, and we're currently spending eighty two thousand. Okay. Seems like we're under our wage budget a tiny bit there. <laughs> if I can do the maths there. Oh, this is... Okay. Um, what do the board... Yeah, what do the board expect us to... I like the kit. The badge is beautiful. I like the kit. Um, okay. We've got... Our key player is this guy. We'll have a look at the players in a minute. 55,000 seat a stadium. We're, we're set up to go here, really. This, this whole... Um, <coughs> competitions... Um, what do they want us to achieve? I, I, I don't know why I'm suddenly confused. By have we not got our okay confidence? That's good. wage budget job value. Okay, I'm confused by the wage budget because they're only sort of marginally happy with the wage budget, despite apparently us being one point one million pounds under the wage budget. I don't think that's right. Okay, I, I recognise a couple of players here. So this is our academy. Um, doesn't it look like we've got any superstars? We'll have a look through. Um, in more detail later on. Okay, so where's our weaknesses? There's no, not a great deal of quality depth outside the first team amongst players at the club. There isn't much to speak of in terms of exciting you. Yeah, we noticed that already. Uh, Alec Han is one of the few players who can play as goalkeeper. Chris McCann is one of the able midfielder. Okay, so midfielders, goalkeepers, no good youth talent, um, not much quality in depth. Okay, we like it. Let's have a look. Got a decent sized squad. I like small squads generally, so we could probably trim this a bit. It's going to suit me. We know we've got Brad Guzan coming in, so we probably can just have to smuddle on with what we've got if we know we've got Brad Guzan coming in. We've got Tyro Mears, who I know very well as his days at Bolton. I had him in my FM16 save. Um, been in the uh, Seattle Sounders for a couple of seasons, and we, we've nabbed him. Um, let's have a quick. We've got three goalkeepers. Got a decent amount of depth. Got a few loan players. I have no idea how loan players. This is a loan player out. He's he's on loan at our academy. That's in itself quite confusing. Um, okay. Weird. Um, so we can't move players about. So the academy is almost a separate team in this in this leagues as opposed to <laughs> this is so confusing as opposed to just like the under 23s or whatever so okay so we've got nowhere to move players if you don't want <clears throat> looks like we've got good sh depth up front let's have a look at our key man this guy looks pretty amazing central midfield paraguay miguel almiron okay this this guy is the sort of guy we could potentially build a team around Plays best as a playmaker in the central midfield slot. I've got no idea what tactic we're going to use. Um, if you've watched my series before, I kind of like to develop new tactics for new teams because I just get bored of playing the same tactic, even if it works really well. Um, he's He looks really special. And then we've got this guy, Hector Villabia, an uh, Argentinian. Right winger. Yeah, I say winger. Decent amount. Very good pace. Okay, we've got a couple of really decent players here. That's really nice to know. We've got this decent... Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on loan from Velez. Okay, another sort of central midfielder. Um, any other sort... No five-star prospects that we own apart from this guy. But we've got a decent chunk. And then if we go down, we're looking at... Yeah, it's not, it's not great. It's not great. Um, I don't think we'll go anything too complex with the setup. So with the tactic and stuff, don't want to go too mad. Um, let's keep that simple. Oh, we've got Kenwyn Jones, Bournemouth legend. He was on loan at Bournemouth for a season and scored one like really important goal. There you go. Look, Bosch, knowledge bombs, just dropping knowledge. Um, 
Okay, and then he went to UAE for a bit, as you do. Um, and now he's at Atlanta for apparently three seasons and has never played a game. Interesting. Okay, what's the staff situation like? We've got room for a few more staff, which is nice. We need a scouting team because we don't have any. We've got one director of football and no scouts whatsoever. Um, we could do one or two more physios and stuff like that. Um, but okay, we've. I like it. I like having a bit of space rather than having to get rid of people. Um, so team cohesion and match tactics is what I work on in pre-season. But, okay, it looks all right, doesn't it? It looks okay. I don't know when. Is there... When is... So, beginning of pre-season is the 18th of... Um, is this... Uh, no, that oh, we're in January now. Okay. So, the foreign transfer window opens and the restricted transfer window opens, lower leagues. On the 17th of January. Good. I was hoping for that. Okay, there's no other. And that's when it closes. So it closes April 27th. Okay, so it gives you a while to do that stuff. Okay. When is the draft? Or has the draft already happened? I imagine the draft already happened for this season, I'm guessing. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay, we've got contract inspires. What's that red one there? Okay. I've got I've got no no clue. Apparently we're not in any competitions. Which I'm assuming is a problem. Maybe that takes place in a draw. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like I said, you can help me in the comments and stuff, but I'm gonna try and learn it myself and then if I have any particular comments then I think it'll be a lot clearer when we continue. Let's should we do the, the the board stuff let's do the board stuff and then we can go ahead a couple of days like i said if you want to get straight onto the games next episode you want i just i'm glad i showed this because this is fucking confusing um i'm on 12 grand a week so i'm quite happy with that hello team um <clears throat> uh, i don't no um no i don't care about philosophies okay assistant manager okay thanks yes please um Get a second opinion in the squad. Yes, let's meet the backroom staff. Um, how about agent offers? We'll go with future prospect and transfer listed players. Friendlies. Um, you can do that shit. Opposition instructions. I'll keep control of. Press conferences. You can do that because I can't be asked. Team talks. That's all me. Training. Um, that's all me. Okay. That was that was nice and simple. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's make sure this is looking correct. I recruit staff, transfers, contracts, team talks, opposition. George George Seller does the uh, friendly matches, press conferences, and I do all the miscellaneous stuff. Okay. Let's have a look at our. Set up so we've got good youth facilities, which is nice. I might ask if we can upgrade that if at all possible. Um, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, we won't bother with the making captain and free kick takers, we'll scout the players they suggest though. Um, with our director of football, I guess we'll send him out to do a bit of scouting. Um, because we don't actually have any scouts. Um, club. Facilities, average corporate, impressive training, great youth. Okay, let's. We got thirty million in the bank, so I'm going to ask, see what we can get away with. Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah. I literally, my first day, I've gone. Look, sort out your impressive youth facilities. Um, we won't touch the anything else. Okay, affiliated club is our academy. Of course, it is logic. Um, so if, yeah, so. I I'm, I'm confused by the wage budget. Oh, maybe because we haven't actually got into the league yet. It's not. I don't. I don't know. I'm just. We're just going to wait. Let's hit, let's hit continue and see what magic happens. Um, I'll show also show you what leagues I've got loaded. Woohoo! Um, hope uh, Loki can bring some good English players with him. Yeah, yeah. Loki is the wrong choice. He's not up for the job. Give me a chance, man. I need to prove myself. It'll all be good. I promise. Honestly. 
<laughs> if they could see me in my office going, what the fuck is going on here? Um, well, um, let, yeah, let's just continue a couple of days, see if anything happens. Right, we've been unveiled. All's good in the world. Oh, I was going to show you the leagues I've got loaded. Just so you can see what we've got loaded. Quite a decent sized database here. We've got large database. Um, we've got Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, England, uh, Spain, Peru, Mexico, Italy, Germany, France, United States, Uruguay. There you go. Decent amount. Two star estimated game speed. But that's okay because you don't have to worry about that. It's me that has to sit through that boring shit. Okay. So. Do we just start selling players? But. Let's let's just try and see if we can buy it and see what it comes out with. Dos Santos, there you go. Okay, because we know it's a trading system. I knew that. It was a trading system. Um, which, if you know Football Manager, trying to fucking do trades is a nightmare. I hope it's easier in the MLS. Um, so we need to work out somebody we can give them in, in exchange for those players. <laughs> okay, let's... Um, uh, yeah, we'll do. We won't do scouting setup yet because we've got no scouts. So we'll just we're just having a quick look at a couple of players. Um, like Altador would be a decent big target man striker. Um, what we'd have to offer him? Let's just let's just do a practice run, shall we? Um, are we going to go? I'm not necessarily saying I'm going to buy him. I just want to see. So, oh, we can give him general allocation money. Okay, that takes it out of our budget, I'm assuming. Oh, a draft allocation. Interesting, because I know a little bit about American football, and I, I do watch the drafts in April, and, and I find that fascinating. And you trade, like you might have a third round, fourth pick, and you trade a player for the, to another team so they can have that pick. So then you're down further down the line. I find that quite interesting. I don't know when the draft is. See, because this says oh, Atlanta, uh, MLS 2017 first or so. Maybe that is next year. Um, other than that, there's no indication of like potential. So you can't sort of go, what players would you like Toronto? And they say, oh, any of these three players would be great. Um, okay, Kenwin Jones for very similar stature players. Rejected. Wow, that's that's quite cold, isn't it? There's no, for any reason. Um it is possible to uh, to offer and ask for a combination of players players exchanges. Um, blah, 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 blah. I like you know, I have three hundred general allocation money. If if general allocation money is included in the deal, it must be a minimum of thirty eight k. Okay, Atlanta have no spare international slots to be included in this trade. Okay, what about my designated players? Where do I see that? Bum, 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 bum. So. Uh, Everybody pretty much has joined this team because it's a brand new team. And that's why I chose Atlanta. There doesn't seem to be any des obvious way of seeing if it's a designated player. Have we got any obvious? Well, is Tyrone Mings a designated player? That's quite embarrassing if it is. Contract. Um, salary cap impact for the 1900 season. 1900 season? I'll move that apparently I can't okay that's that's just 1900 has just confused me <laughs> okay um <clears throat> overall I'm pretty happy with our team we know we're getting Brad Guzan is our decent goalkeeper I think center back wise looks a little bit ropey we've got Leonardo Gonzalez but is also if you're new to the series you'll know I mess up every single name sometimes on purpose sometimes not but don't worry about it. You don't have to comment that I've got a name wrong. I just generally nickname people if I can't pronounce them. We've got Chris McCann, who's a decent all-rounder. I like the fact he can fit in at left back, left midfield, central midfield. DM, 28 years old. Uh, played for Burnley for a bunch of years. So we've got a few players I recognise. We've got the potential of going like a, a Kenwin Jones target man. Like a two up top combination with a target man. And then more of a poacher advance forward to sort of run off him. Hopefully, Ken Wynn will bag the assists. That could be something we do. Um, <clears throat> I'll have a look into the team more in detail offline and then explain to you what I'm doing. Um, but we need to, whenever you do these teams, whenever you get a new team, is find your couple of best players, which we know, this central midfielder and this right winger. And 
try and fit the team, build the team around them so they have the most impact. We could even potentially play him behind the strikers if that's something we want to do. He's got the stats for it to play advanced playmaker. Only 21. I can't believe he's only valued at that. That seems quite a low valuation. Considering his buddy, who's not quite as good, is the same age and valued at 4.3 million. Right, should we continue on to see, see if anything happens? <laughs> imagine if the season just started. I'm like, shit! Okay, so beginning of pre-season, so I'm imagining something will happen there. Okay, uh, no more abuse in the social media, which is nice. Um, before we get going with the series, I've just got a quick catch-up on Patreon because I haven't done a Football Manager videos. So Patreon is my um, people that help want to support me if you're new to the channel and have no idea what Patreon is. The link is in the description. But I just want to say a massive thank you to a bunch of new people. Damon Leach, uh, Normal Football, Carl Roberts, John Kane, Paul Chen, Jake Elston, Bo Hansen, Rob Taylor whose also name is Scalmonger. I imagine that's for the YouTube. Just Mike Plays and Ben Atkinson. Thank you very much for the donations. Thank you for joining the Patreon family, my friends. Um, really do appreciate it. Crazy amount of new people. I'm, I'm amazed that it's uh, this high. Okay, we'll go high intensity, yeah? High intensity. Um, okay, I don't want to go too far in the future because I need to get the star sorted, but that would be boring as shit to watch, so I'll do that off, off the video. Um, okay. So, what have we learnt today, people? We've learnt that... Hmm, what have we learnt today? We've learnt that there's all sorts of weird budgetary stuff. This finance seems to be bizarrely weird. Because um, apparently I've got millions of pounds to spend on wages. Which I'm slightly confused about it. Um, what's this shit? I'm not seeing... Oh, hello. Okay, okay, so it doesn't look... Yeah, okay, so this is this wage budget is an arbitrary number. It doesn't actually mean anything, I don't think, because we've got the salary cap for the league, which is we've used 12,750. We've got 12 grand left, so we, that's quite nice. We've got half our, our cap left, so that's the one we need to be looking at. Um, we've got 1.2 million. Um, general allocation money, 400 grand. Yep, that's all good. Um, number of designated player slots three. Number of designated player slots available one. Um, I think you can. Somebody said to act, to activate my fourth designated player spot, but we'll look at that. Um, okay. Number of generation Adidas players. Number. Okay. I just wish you, you we could see that somewhere. We've got no debt, which is good. Like, why can't I see in my squad list? Is there a potent? Uh, you need to create a tactic. Re I know that. I'm not fucking stupid. Uh, do we need to add a bunch of stuff here to show that? I think we'll, what we'll do is we'll end the episode there and we'll skip ahead to um, when I get a bunch of scouts to set up our scouting. And as soon as anything remotely interesting starts, I'm assuming when pre-season starts, um, that'll be when it gets all a bit fun times, right? Because... Transfer windows open on the 17th of January. Um, and then pre season. I don't know if it was pre season. It said pre season. So 18th. 18th, the pre beginning of pre season. So something might happen then. Oh, browse, 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 browse. Okay. Okay, more scouting. Yeah, we haven't got any scouts, but yeah, send out our scouts. Right, so there we go, my friends. We didn't learn too much. I think we're going to learn as we go. Like, as soon as we start actually buying these players, seeing what the effect has on the budgets and stuff like that, it's all going to be good fun. I'm quite happy with the team. I'm liking the idea of having a bit of Kenwin Jones target man. I don't usually use a target man. I'm really interested to see how these two youngsters do, these 21 years old. They look special. We've also got Carlos Carmona, who's another good central... Oh, ball-winning midfielder. Very, very nice. I'm liking the look of this. I think we've got a decent backbone of a team. And we've only spent half our budget, our wage budget. So as long as we can palm off some shit to other teams and get some decent players in, which is going to be a mission, I think, uh, we should have a fun time. Thank you very much for watching me, guys. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you for episode two of the confusing MLS adventure. Bye-bye.